Hey, 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 everybody. Uh, eh, I got dangly jewelry. I got spurs that jingle, 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 jingle. But, um, hi, I'm Jalen. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, I've played too much Fallout New Vegas in my life. But in this video, I'll be going over a few gripes that I have of like fashion influencers on like Instagram and YouTube. It's mostly an Instagram thing. Um, but this is just nitpicks, gripes, whatever that I have personally. Like you could be completely fine with any of these things. and That's completely fine because I'm not you. So like, <laughs> of course, we don't feel the same things all the time ever. But um, let's let's just get on with the first one. And that is that I don't I, I don't like how like a lot of influencers or like whatever in the fashion sphere who seem to have the means to be a little bit more selective with the sponsorship deals that they take take like ones from Boohoo or like Shein or Ala Yoga or whatever because those brands are like really fast and they're really notorious for being fast and so I just feel like if you have a certain following that is like high enough that it supports you enough and you have other sponsorships that you should be a little bit more responsible with who you're promoting because a lot of times these influencers will have like on an outfit from the brand that they're promoting like Boohoo or Shein or whatever or Ala Yoga they'll have on an outfit for the one post that th that's sponsored and then you'll never see that piece again for the most part on their feed and I just think that's really irresponsible one because it's wasteful like sure they may be selling it to someone who might want it but like at the same time it's just like what was the point other than like getting a little bit of money and two it's just like dishonest in my opinion because the rest of their feed or even the rest of their outfit in that post will be like a bunch of designer brands like Balenciaga, Dior, Gucci, Louis Vuitton and you know just like a bunch of other designer brands um I think an example that I can think of when, when it comes to this would be Sarah Snyder, Jaden Smith's ex-girlfriend and model <laughs> um Oh man, there's that picture from 2014 that's like seared in my mind when I think of those two together. But um, her her brand, like her personal brand is that like she's just rich and she wears a bunch of designer. But like at the same time, like every other post is sponsored by Aloe Yoga or something like that. So she'll have on like an Aloe Yoga set, but she'll also be wearing like some really hype Jordans that I know cost a fat stack of money. And like, you know, have like a designer bag, like Balenciaga or, or Gucci or something like that. And it just, I don't know. I just feel like it sends mixed signals, but more the wrong message. Because in my mind, I know you're not wearing that all the time. You know, you probably send that back as soon as you got the money. That's really all I have to say about the first part. The second part is a little bit less of a nitpick than anything. I do wish that more of them, like in like their YouTubes, like <laughs> their YouTubes, like in their YouTube videos, I do wish them when they were going over like what they'd recently purchased or anything like that, or like the clothes in their closet or something like that, that they would be a little bit more generous with information or a little bit more informative. That's that's the word for what I meant to say. Because at the end of the day, they do have a platform and people are watching them for some type of value, whether it be entertainment or information, sometimes both. But even still, people are getting some type of value. So I just feel like there could be a little bit more value to be gotten very easily. They, they usually only ever bring up sizing, pricing, and brand, sometimes alternatives, but that's about it. Like, um, if something is made of wool, which is one of the things, materials that could be brought up, then, you know, they could say, if you get this item, make sure to check the tag to see, you know, how to, how to wash it properly. Because I have one or two wool pieces and those are dry clean only. And if I hadn't checked the tag like I do when I, whenever I shop at Goodwill, then I would have chucked them in the washer or something like that and they would have shrunk severely. So just just um having some bit of information that like helps the people who may not know and are and are trying to learn from these influencers would be really helpful and would just like help a lot of people since they have a platform with a lot of people on it <laughs> and um yeah so just you know talk about care instructions uh materials and how to care for those materials or even just say do your own research you know or just saying like Hey, I live in so-and-so climate. 
So maybe this isn't the best for you if you live in any type of other climate, you know? Like if they live in Sweden and they're getting a puffer jacket for the, for, you know, spring, summer, then maybe you shouldn't get a puffer jacket as well, which is common sense, sure. But at the same time, a lot of impressionable people won't know that. As someone, someone who's really good with um, just being really informative, just by default, by second nature, would be Fly With Johnny Ty. Um, what he always does before he showcases any outfits on himself is he always specifies his height and weight, which I really, like, I'm not his height and weight, but like, knowing that he is different from me means that I know not to expect it to look the same on me. Because I'm like, 5'11", 215, and granted, I have a muscular build, muscular-ish build, but, like, the same thing is not gonna look the same on me as it would on him or anyone else with a even slightly different build, and I think that is really good for people to realize immediately because some people, they, they see an item and they see that it looks good, you know, because it was made to look good on this model, and they think it would look good on me too, but they don't take into account their own bodies and their own lifestyles. Like, is it, do you really need a winter jacket when you live in California, you know? Just because it looks cool does not mean you should get it. That's just an example. I'm sure no one in California is looking for winter jackets, but I digress. I really think that kind of being a little bit more forthcoming with information about pieces and clothes, especially expensive ones, would be really helpful for people who wouldn't know better otherwise. And my last uh, point that I wanna make is kinda like my most serious one, the one that irks me the most. And I kinda hate when like they get asked, hey, how do you afford all these clothes that are really expensive in designer? And they just say, oh, I have a job and I, I, I pay for them with money. <laughs> You silly fucking goose, you fucking idiot. That's how I fucking pay for clothes. Like that's what that's what I hear in my head whenever I read with money, whenever they answer a question like that. Because it's stupid. Like, yeah, we know you pay for them with money, nigga. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, they don't ever talk like, yeah, sure, they say that the clothes that they have are gifted, and I know far fetch <laughs> far fetch. I know far fetch when they sponsor of people they let them have an item or two or three or something like that um and so like that's completely fine to admit it's good to be transparent like i said but um a lot of times like just saying oh i pay for my money that's stupid as shit don't ever say that to me again bro mm. like they don't ever bring up the fact that they have a rotating a rotating closet in which they sell pieces they never wear anymore for money to buy other pieces with they never bring up the fact that they look for sales, nor when the sales are. They never bring up the fact that they don't impulse buy, which, yeah, it's, it's just a thing that no one should really do. But, like, if you see something and you like it, like, you're probably going to impulse buy it, you know? But, like, if I was in their shoes, I would say I sell a few pieces here and there so that way I can justify paying this much for another piece. That, uh, that was similar as well. So I get rid of pieces that are too similar to one that I want in the future. So that way I don't have a very redundant and repetitive closet. Or I'd say I wait for the sales at the end of the season since they can get really big up to 60 to 70% off. Or I say like, I don't impulse buy. I sit on items for three months if they cost over this certain amount because I wanna make sure that I'm getting my value out of it, you know? Like that's literally three things pretty much off the top of my head that they could be saying instead of, I pay for my clothes with money because it's stupid and it's reductive. Uh, and a lot of times it's like young people who don't know how to pay for these things or don't really have a concept of like how much these things really cost or where to get these things. And it offers them absolutely no value at all as an answer to their question. I know, you know, you don't have to answer every DM. You probably don't have time to answer every DM or whatever, or every question asked on your story or whatever. But like just being a little bit more helpful couldn't go a long way, really. But um, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to talk about. Thanks for listening to me rant. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks, uh, leave, a, leave a like. I don't know, man, just do whatever you want with this video, bro. You've already watched the end if you're seeing this. So have a good one, man, I appreciate it.